I was a young pro Puerto Rican boxer. One of the originals, the legendary, Customado took in. I worked and trained with the best, Tyson, Hollowfield, and George Foreman. But before I could rise in boxing, someone gave me a chance like nobody else would. I grew up in Spanish Harlem, very poor. My dresser was my crib. I was a victim of abuse in my own hometown in the streets. At the age of 22, I was on the brink of being homeless. I remember one night on Christmas Eve, I walked into the St. Patrick's Cathedral and I said, God, please give me a purpose. As I exited, I walked down Fifth Avenue and it was this gorgeous building. I walked inside and I said, I'm looking for work. The next day, Trump hired me off the street. He gave me five navy blue suits. He shook my hand and he said, welcome to the family. I remember the night I was assigned to drive Mr. Trump to a meeting. I dropped him off and as he's getting out of the car, he said to me, can I bring you a steak? Because I'm going to be in there for quite a while. Who am I for him to stop his meeting and bring me something to eat. You know, I hear these accusations, but let me tell you firsthand. He employed people from all origins. We were all treated like family. And I remember that, and I admired him for that. He put us all first. He once gave me a personal letter expressing just how proud he was of me. Later in life, pursuing my pro boxing career, I got knocked out. In real life, I lost my way. Later, I also lost my wife to cancer, leaving me a single parent two children, striving to be a role model. I suffered three heart attacks, one stroke, and I was once pronounced dead in the ring. You know, Trump would notice, but along with a few mementos in life, this letter was the one that gave me the most inspiration. These words, they have been a constant reminder of how much I have been appreciated. I never had a father, but I was so fortunate to come across these two gentlemen, Customado, who taught me how to be a fighter. But Donald Trump taught me how to act like a champion. Mr. Trump just didn't give me a job that Christmas day. What I realized today is that he gave me a tool to help rediscover my purpose, to be an inspiration to my children. Hey, Dad. Son, listen. When you get knocked down, you get back up because you matter. And have faith that throughout life, you'll be blessed by a reminder or two recalling just how appreciated you are. Perhaps even by the next president of the United States himself. I feel like I, back then, represented where the country is now, in need of a helping hand and a leader who will give us our purpose and legacy again. The country's on the ropes, folks, and this time, I know what I'm fighting for.